Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is my next segment on Confessions of an Autistic Chef on a Facebook channel we're called Confessions of, a, Confessions of an Autistic Cigar Aficionado. Tonight's review. We're doing a new, a new breed. This guy actually came from the Domo Factor uh, Company. Now it came out with his own brand. I don't have his name off the top of my head, but I smoked this Friday night at an event. Uh, we got a few, so I wanted to do a video on it. I was a little tipsy when I smoked it. Not tipsy, but I had a drink in me. So since I'm sober today, no beer on in my system, I figured to do, do a review. This is Infiel. Uh, Lugazana cigars. I'll have it written down in the bio. So, unwrap and smoke. Before we do that, okay, this is a 6x60 Gordo. Alright. Before we start our video, I figured bring out my favorite herring rum. It's Guatemala. Virgin rum. Fanta Kappa. When it comes to cigars, I do, I do discriminate. When it comes to rum, this is where I go at. Alright. So, let's cut and smoke. Alright. So, since that's done, I'm going to get some box. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna find a video that, that did say that, so I wanna play for you guys. I'm just gonna play the clip where he talks about them. Oh, here you go. Silvio Octavio Luzquina Mendoza is the owner of cigars. He's a previous deputy manager of Atredomo Cigars.
play it and play that sort of clip again, just for those who missed it. Okay, you might have a little bit of an <coughs> not even burn, which is fine, that happens. This thing comes new breed of cigars. This one, I'm at the second half already. So I'll fix that, that burn a little bit. It has a really great texture to it. Um, this might give Podomo a run for his money, believe it or not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the blend of the tobacco and the cigar. Might give Podomo a run for his money. I, I, I gotta put it out there. This guy came from the, came from the Podomo, for the, for, from the Domo group. And um, kicking butt. Only problem I have is going to even burn a little bit, right? So I fix that. Kind of fix that right there. This cigar, wow, wow, this cigar to me, in my personal opinion, okay, this year before I smoked the cigar, Podomo 30th anniversary Maduro was my favorite cigar. This one might just topped it. More flavor, more complexity. This might be a good coffee cigar, a good rum or rum whiskey cigar. Either or, you can't go wrong. To me, this cigar. And keep on, I'm not being paid by this company. I don't even know this company. 
keep this in mind. But this cigar is a prime example of the student outdoing the master. Nick Padone was the master. He came up with all the blends. This guy came up with his own blend and came up with better ones. I, I, I got God said. I got said. I mean, Padone was my guy. Podomo is my guy. But this one is a, this is a new Podomo. This one's on the map. I mean, hands down, without a doubt. This one is my, it's my, new, it's my new favorite. Still my, my, my new favorite. This one's so good, I barely need the rum. Don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna buy for Dolan cigars. Hands down, I doubt. That's my go to right there. Those are my, those are my first loves. No hope, no, no disrespect. But this one, what can you say that hasn't been said? It's chocolate, it's just chocolate, you know, spicy. It's just a very masculine cigar. Now, if I were to go in business with a cigar uh, company and I was having a meeting with them, this is a cigar I want to smoke. This one right here, this baby right here. I literally want to know, whoever made this cigar, if I could become your brand promoter, please let me know. Contact me on my Facebook or on my, on my, on my LinkedIn. This one is the shit. It's like a cursing, but this is this is stuff a legend right here. Not overpriced, white amount of money for the cigar. 12 bucks. Yeah, so no one to have the sun grown. My guy. My guy. Jesus Christ. Now, let's start uh, grading it. I got something I do today. The wrapper five. The band four. Firmness four. Three out of three. Oil three out of three. Five out of five. 
the burn. I gotta take some points off for the burn because it was uneven a little bit. He added eight, but that could be fixed later on. But uh, draw a out eight. Consistency. It got better with time. So I got better with time, hands down, without a doubt. Flavor, 9 out of 9. Smoothness, 8 out of 8. Quality of blend, 12 out of 12. Flavor progression, Jesus Christ, not enough points on the board. Finish, 6. Speed of burn, 5. Price, 5 out of 5. 98. You got a 98, my friend. You got a 98. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. See you next time.